with disability? Sir, it is indeed my great pleasure and honor to welcome you. And before I hand over the platform to you, I want you to know that I'll be moderating the session, QID session also, and I'll be here to help you with the chat box. Over to you, sir. Thanks, Devanshi. Um, absolute pleasure here to, uh, to be with this young group. Always a pleasure to be among students. I can also see some stalwarts uh, here with, uh, uh, with me in this session. Arun is here. I can see Nilesh is here. So, so happy um, that uh, they will be with me in this session. And uh, uh, always an enjoyable experience uh, to be dealing with this topic. We have been at Vishesh working on in disability inclusion for the last 12 years. We are a team of 40 um, working across um, uh, four or five locations and all our learnings uh, on this topic, all that I'm going to be sharing today is um, from these interactions with individuals with disabilities. Okay, so the session is going to be in English, though my name is very long, Rajeshekran and long sounding like very, very South Indian. I'm bilkul Hindi mein. I'm very um, comfortable in Hindi mein. Uh, in fact, my mother tongue se jada Hindi achche se janta hu. So you can at any point in time uh, ask if you have any question and questions and you can also ask uh, the same question in English, uh, in Hindi as well. Hmm? Um, then uh, um, uh, the other point is, please feel free. This is from, um, you know, why it's called a lecture, etc. This is it's, I'm, I'm going to position it as a safe space for a discussion. So, at, and please feel free to contribute with your thoughts, comments, and questions also. A question is a question, and there is no wrong question or a right question or a silly question, it's a question. So please feel free to ask at any point in time, okay? I will start with, um, you know, this is how the flow is going to be today. We will, we will we'll start with some grounding concepts to found, on to establish the foundation of uh, equal opportunity. And uh, we will go a little deeper, understand, understand equal opportunity and very specifically the RPWD provisions with respect to equal opportunity. And then visit some of the good practices um, on, in, 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 in equal opportunity, especially the Indian context is what uh, we would be visiting. Okay, for 30, 30 minutes, uh, next one and a half hours, uh, we are going to be spending our time doing this. Okay, um, I start with very simple, I, I think most of you would have already known this question, but still wanted to check, it's a quick check. You can use your chat box and uh, respond in your chat box. What do you think? Uh, um, is the population of uh, persons with disabilities in India? What is that number that comes to your mind? And as against that person, um, you know, what percentage is the population? And as against what percentage of staff in private sector are persons with disabilities? Okay. Thanks, Pooja, for this two. You can respond to these two questions. Pooja has responded with 15 million as a number. Anybody else? Is that number less? Less than 15, more than 15. And also, please uh, also put the percentage of staff in private sector. Suppose in a company that are 100 employees, what percent? 2%, 3% are persons with disabilities. Sachin has come up with 5%, 4%, less than 1%, Pooja says. I would like to see some more responses before we start uh, talking about it. Please share your responses in the chat box. Ah. Only Sachin and Pooja, I can see. Request for responses, please. Looks like a lot of you are saying 4%. I think that number is uh, coming from the law. I'll um, clarify everything here in the next. Uh, if you could see this slide, we are talking about a number which is 8% of, you know, as per census. Let me start with census. Census is 2011 census, talks about 26 million or 2.6 crore people. So I've deliberately used the word self declared. It's a self declared number to highlight the point that 
lot of people still do not want to come out and disclose for stigma and various factors you know they are not comfortable the families are protected the individual is also is is not so confident of disclosing okay, we will we'll discuss some more, more about it as we progress in this session but that number is significantly undercounted you can you can all imagine you know it is 2011 we are talking 2021 so 10 years um, the population has grown grown uh, we have uh, you know best of training the enumerators may still have missed out on certain um, uh, um, conditions and may not some there are many invisible conditions uh, mental health conditions which may have got missed out and more importantly this census was done based on a previous law 1995 law which has got replaced with a new law and certain conditions like autism learning disability were not even covered in the previous law chronic blood disorders were not even covered so you put all of this we are talking about a number which is 80 to 90 million which is 8% which is what most of the people in the community and a lot of people think you know there's significant consensus on a number which is that high so we are talking about a population which is bigger than united kingdom france these countries you know if you look at india indian state bigger than tamil nadu um, you know as as populous as maharashtra that's the kind of number we are talking about 8% and you know i've just put put um, the map of um, us only to highlight could be any developed country in any other country um developing developed or about to develop or whatever you know disability is is inherent and inevitable part of uh, human diversity even us has uh, 61 million uh, as per their you know, whatever the cdc data this is uh, center for disease control data which is talks about 61 million 12% of uh, adults have some form of or have a form of a living uh, living with a disability so we are talking about a big number despite these uh, conditions another Some, another data that again comes from data is the, from us is only 18% among persons with disabilities only 18% that is only one in five are born with an impairment the rest have acquired impairment over the period of their lifetime so you are all any one of any one uh, is um, is uh, is just a one incident one episode uh, away from being a person with disability the whole point is this conversation is not about us versus them you know we are studying this topic so by data itself shows that it is about all of us many of you mentioned 4% that 4% is a quota or a reservation yeah, uh, made in government of india for jobs you know 4% what exactly how much thank you how much thank of, you. Much of the 4% you. in private sector there is no hey. in, in, talk about it i'm talking about private sector less than 1% pooja mentioned it's in fact 0.1% of um, staff uh, currently in this private um, uh, jobs private sector um, jobs are of our uh, staff look under watermelon baruthama there is 8% uh, of very variety ado and against that 0.1 23.7 ಸಿಗ್ಬೇಕಲ್ಲ so if this number is so high 8 and 1 uh, we are talking about 8% means 1 in 10 12 person um to rarely hame milte hain matlab hum apne college mein school mein you know public places mein uh, jahan par bhi jate hain hame rarely persons with disabilities dikhai padte hain ye kyon hai aap bata you, you can unmute and speak up you can put your response in chat box or if if you uh, if you are want to use sign language you can use arun uh, would uh, voice interpret that for us yes i want some responses please why do we rarely come across persons with disabilities in our daily lives jo bhi aapke man mein aata hai please boliye 
डोंट होल्ड योर सेल्फ बैक कोई गलत जवाब नहीं है कोई इसमें स्कोर नहीं मिलने वाला है कोई पॉइंट्स नहीं होने वाला आपको जो क्यों नहीं दिखाई पड़ती ये बताइए आप जस्ट हमें जवाब चाहिए बस आप आप जो बोलेंगे उससे हमारा डिस्कशन और अच्छा होगा एनी वन आई कैन सी सम चैट बॉक्स रिस्पॉन्सिस गुड Uh, they do not have get enough opportunities they confine themselves to the barriers um suraj i have said they have a specific domain they don't go to public close uh, places and stay at home only suraj aap can you please elaborate on this if you can suraj Sir, it's Shubham, I think. Okay, please, please, Shubham, please go ahead. Sir, the thing is that uh, we uh, we uh, we come across uh, rarely with the persons with disability. Yes, fully able. Sir, please. Uh, we we rarely come across uh, with the persons with disabilities because they uh, they are still not feeling inclusive in the society or in the workplace areas because of less opportunities and other barriers like uh, we learned in our previous classes mm -hmm. like. Uh, educational barrier or you can say infrastructural barrier uh, to matlab uh, we so still example to... denge koi some example shubham infrastructure barrier ka example diye educational barrier ka example boliye uh, sir like ki uh, the thing is ki if, mm. if uh, uh, let's suppose that i am uh, owner of a store and uh, i have to hire two persons to sir uh, if i am saying ki uh, मेरा एटीट्यूड ऐसा है कि मुझे सिर्फ बेनिफिट ही बनाना है तो मैं हमेशा बस यही चाहूंगा कि मेरे दोनों जो वर्कर्स हों वो फुल एफिशिएंसी से काम कर पाए लेकिन सर मैं ये भी देख सकता हूं कि एक जो जो बहुत ज्यादा मोबिलिटी का वर्क हो वो मैं पर्सन विदाउट डिसेबिलिटी को दे दूं और जो एक काउंटर वर्क हो मैं क्या कहते हैं वो वर्क मैं एज अ ओनर एज अ यू कैन से जेनरस ओनर उसको संभाल के रखू रिजर्व करके रखू फॉर द पर्सन जो मतलब फिजिकल मोबिलिटी नहीं कर सकता है बट डेस्क डेस्क वर्क कर सकता है हम थोड़ा सा बाद में और विस्तार में बात करेंगे जब एम्प्लॉयमेंट की बात करेंगे आपने कहा कि डेस्क वर्क में डेस्क वर्क एक डिसबिलिटी को दे दे और जो चलने बाकी जो चलने फिरने उठाने का काम और किस और को दे दे जिससे कि एम्प्लॉय हो जाए ठीक है इस तरह की सोच ये बैरियर है आपका कहना है ना जो सोचता है कि नहीं किसी को नहीं दे सकते हैं दैट इज अ बैरियर ठीक है सूरज ने लिखा इन कॉलेज वी डोंट हैव फैसिलिटीज दैट केटर टू पीपल विद विजन इम्पेयरमेंट लिफ्ट एग्जैक्टली सो बेसिकली आप देखेंगे मैं जस्ट थोड़ा सा कंपेरिजन के माध्यम से आई एम पुटिंग दिस वॉट इज अ लाइफ ऑफ अ पर्सन विदाउट अ डिसेबिलिटी एंड पर्सन विथ अ डिसेबिलिटी यदि जो पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी दस नॉन डिसेबल पर्सन को दस को करना है तो यू नो लिफ्ट है आज बट स्कूल जाना है जो व्हील चेयर यूजर है स्कूल जाना है पब्लिक जाना है अगेन नॉट एक्सेबल ये जो लॉकडाउन था दो साल पहले लॉकडाउन था आप बहुत सारे बात करेंगे पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी से बोलेंगे हमारे लिए तो ये परमानेंट लॉकडाउन है sorry i would request everyone to be on mute it will be very difficult for um, all of us to participate especially for arun to catch what i'm speaking and interpret so request you all to be on mute unless we i request you to unmute and speak huh? thank you for your support so if you look so so, so you see the contrast lot of people with disability say you know it has been permanent lockdown for us not just now we can't go out there is no footpath proper curb cuts are not there uh, you know if i go to an atm to withdraw money the ramp is there but the ramp is so too steep um, all of that you know similarly if i if i if for example if you look at the um, uh, for a if you want to if you wanted to go if a hearing person wants to go to germany and do business i will get tamil marathi hindi to german translator pretty easily google and you should be able to get and do the job but if a deaf person has to go to a doctor and do a, for example in lockdown many had to do video consultation is it easily online you know we have good solutions now coming up but very is it uh, easily available accessible to get a online uh, interpreter very very difficult similarly weak eyesight lot, lot of us are here wearing 
um, specs. If you have weak eyesight, go to an eye store, procure, uh, sun, uh, procure glass, get your eyes tested, you get your glasses, pretty much you're good to go. But if you look at a person who has significant here vision loss or a blind person, like Suraj rightly mentioned, uh, mentioned in, the in the chat box here, can accessing computers, books, bookings, you know, Swiggy, food order, cab order, all of them becomes almost impossible to access. So it is not, if you can see, it is not a person's lack of ability or anything. It is simply <laughs> the barriers that the society has, uh, has put, put for individuals. It could be physical barriers, like in this picture, a ramp which is not of appropriate design, or uh, it could be information barriers, you know, material not in the appropriate format, no sign language interpreter, um, you know, signal, our, our uh, signals are red and low, does not provide for, um, um, you know, voice prompt for a blind person to cross the signal. Or most importantly, to we had Shubham talk about our search or attitudinal barriers, so the, the myths, misconceptions uh, that we all carry about what a person can do and not do that actually stops us from um, uh, what we say as, um, uh, what we see as barriers to inclusion, okay? In fact, that is why we don't see, okay? Before I, I will, I will I, what I'll do is I'll share this video in the chat box later, you can see, because we are really short on time. Um, here, I would like to now talk about another concept with respect to um, visible versus invisible. So one question here, is it possible? Is it, you can see a person and say a person has a disability. Is it visible? Aap dekh ke bata sakte hai ki a person, um, a person with disability hai, dekh ke bata chal jata hai. Umang ne nahi kaha hai. सब लोग ना कह रहे ठीक है नो सर कंडीशंस में कौन से कंडीशंस में हैं हम बता नहीं सकते कैन यू प्लीज एलैबोरेट एनीवन ऑल ऑफ यू हैव सेड नो हियरिंग ठीक है हियरिंग एड अंदर है या साइन लैंग्वेज यूजर है डेफ पर्सन है वी कैन नॉट से करेक्ट एनी अदर कंडीशंस मेंटल हेल्थ एब्सोल्युटली ऑटिज्म लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटी अमित वेरी गुड uh, in case of physical disability, can we say that blood disorders perfect? I mean, physical disability. Physical means uh, uh, conditions which are which have related to your your um, mobility of upper or lower limbs. In that case, can we say? Suraj says no. Can you explain, Suraj? Puja says yes in case of physical disability. Suraj says no. Suraj, can you explain? Or Amit, can you explain? Anyone can you unmute and explain? Why do you say no? In what cases in physical disability you cannot say? Hello. Ha, bully. Yes, please. Yes, uh, Dr. Amit here. Uh, Amit. Sir, if the locomotor disability is uh, not that much to attain the criteria of benchmark disability, this is 40%. Then it can be that uh, we can't uh, differentiate or recognize that the person has a disability. Means like it is uh, limited to only a part of limb, like fingers. Okay. Correct. Awesome. So then uh, we can't uh, recognize that this person might have disability by just looking at him. Correct. Uh -huh. so no, yeah, not necessarily benchmark. I know there is a concept of benchmark, but even in 80, 90 percent, that's not uh, which is benchmark, which the government disability certificate, etc., puts. But even in there are many conditions, um, like Uman has talked about a person with cerebral palsy, you know, there are spinal cord injury um, or multiple sclerosis. Uh, all of these um, conditions, there may not be any deformity in the body, but still, the, the restrict there would be restricted movement. Okay, so these are multiple sclerosis, sclerosis. Again, 
you know, I know of someone with M M this condition in MS who um, uh, during the daytime, very, very difficult to move around, you know, extreme fatigue, needs a wheelchair, needs support. Afternoon, fatigue goes away. And the yeah, person yeah, la, snacks, so. Okay, so all of these conditions, Sonia also talks about mus muscular dystrophy, the same situation. So um, absolutely right. So basically we should not, we should stop judging based on what we see, what we hear, uh, what you sense, okay? So it is, there are like data here I'm presenting, only 20, this is again US data uh, that I have, Indian data should not be so different. Only in 26% of the cases, only in one and four, there are visible markers, like uh, here uh, using of some aid or appliance or a deformity or um, wheelchair, et cetera, that only 26, the rest, 74 or 75%, you cannot say. So more conditions of invisible um, uh, um, impairment, you know, hearing impairment, learning disability, Abhishek Bachchan, mental health, you all talked about vision impairment, so even in physical, we cannot say, okay? So fun basic message is not to judge by what we see, okay? Let me stop here and play a video, the video of, um, a yellow video it's a very beautiful video which will set the context for the next session here okay i'm sharing the video please spend time seeing this video it's a two minute video in the world of job hunting not having can you hear the video and see the video oh, yes sir yes sir equal opportunities can put you at the back of the pack the words not having equal opportunities are on a seesaw like triangle tilting down they appear within the circle of a wheelchair wheel. In a line moving left, animated silhouettes of people using wheelchairs or straight canes which point forward. For people with disabilities, that can mean navigating additional barriers. The words sway as though they were floating on a choppy sea. Barriers, sidewalks, a wheelchair user approaches a step. Halls and doorways, a wheelchair user rolls to the narrow opening between the W and the A. Information, at print signage, a woman with a cane and guide dog, question marks appear above the woman's head. Millions of people with disabilities face barriers to finding jobs and getting promoted. A crowd of individuals using canes and wheelchairs. And not just physical barriers, within a thought bubble, attitudes. Our attitudes also create barriers for people with disabilities. A man holding a sheet sits opposite a woman sitting in a wheelchair. In his thought bubble, misconceptions, negativity, prejudice, ignorance. But did you ever consider the ability factor? A woman with an amputated leg, three men appear on each side. One in seven people around the world is disabled. A globe, a wedge, appears within the circle. 15% of the world's population, a billion people. You get it, right? That's a lot of people with ability you can factor into your workplace. A counter advances to one billion. People with disabilities create diversity. Seven individuals in a row, they include one amputee, a wheelchair user, and a figure with dark glasses and a guide dog. And that's good for business. Why? Because people with disabilities improve workplace morale. Figures with smiles can be an untapped resource of skills and talents. A wrench, a light bulb, and a thought bubble, and a computer monitor, it reads. It is the ability factor. Elevate customer service. A figure using a wheelchair on a rising platform, a trophy cup appears. And best of all, help increase business opportunities. Figures stride, some using wheelchairs or canes. You see, it's ability, not disability, that counts. In the wheel of a wheelchair, that's the ability factor. International Labor Organization. Okay, so I've come back to the session. So. Is there anything different that you watched on this video? When you saw this video, did you experience anything different? Other than the message that it is ability that counts, um, you know, and the various barriers that we sp spoke about, something so unique about this video. Anyone here? Hello. Ah, yes. Sir, Amit Bansuri here. Yeah, Amit. Uh, that video shows that if given opportunity, the person with disability can excel in his work and achieve among the best. 
yes, good. I mean, if person is given equal opportunity, if the barriers are addressed, so that the person would, uh, is, it's an import. They are also equally con can contribute to the talent pool. It's a, unless the companies and the society recognizes that we will lose out. It's for the society and companies to lose out on such very, very good talent pool. So mindful of the barriers, remove those barriers and provide equal opportunity. Great. That's the, and all that one needs to be really um, looking at is whether the person has the ability to do the job or not. That's what the message is. Fine. But something about the video content, was it different? Did you a video job up logo and they cut a lag laga up a video me? Usual video takya. Sir. Adi. Sir, uh, first of all, I want to uh, say that uh, you have not given audio description of that video because, sir, I am a visually impaired, so uh, I was only able to understand the message, but not uh, about the uh, video content, what you are talking. So, please. Correct. Sir. Mm. Right. Uh, the video is supposed to be with audio description, I'm so, uh, actually. Um, so, so, sorry, your name I missed. Deluxe, it was Nila. So, Sir, I'm Abhay Pratap Singh. Uh, I am a research scholar. Abhay, okay. Abhay. Abhay, so yes, you are right. That's a good point. In fact, um, uh, the video, the video without voice description is purely visual. Huh? Um, yes, sir. Uh, what you, um, uh, the video had all the audio con components. It's it is in fact with audio description. It talks about uh, pers uh, there is a background sound which which talks about. Um, um, all the visual cues that were there in the video were described. Okay, sir. It was, it is, in fact, in fact, that was my question is to, it is an audio described video, which, which means all the visual parts of the, of the video, of the, uh, the content were described. That is a man on a wheelchair is uh, yeah. crossing the six screen, uh, is crossing the signal and is held by a barrier, a curb ramp like that is uh, described and in fact if you see the video without i will share both the links at the end of this class if uh, people can see both the links they will see that a video without audio description um, may not be accessible for people with uh, who who need uh, um, you know audio description to ha uh, ha have access to such content thanks uh, abai huh, for bringing that point so that is where accessibility comes in this video has um, um, captioning it has um, content which is described with, uh, for, for uh, people, uh, with audio description. All of that makes the, and, and basic simple language, all of that makes the video um, uh, accessible for, for an individual, okay? Okay, now I'm going to discuss three parts here. Um, you know, to, now we're going to go a little deeper about this. You are all from us doing research and, uh, Going to know these topics in a much more detail. So I have listed down three topics here. Uh, I would break um, break this group into three. Um, actually, we'll, we are having 50, 50 people. I, I thought initially it was 60. Okay, let me break this into six groups. Can I make breakout rooms here? Yes. I'll break it into six rooms. Um, how many of the uh, you need a sign language interpreter? Preeti and Arun will be there in that particular. I'll assign Preeti and uh, Arun to those rooms. Divya, uh, Divyansh, Devanshi, uh, any any count? Uh, you, would you know who would need a sign language interpreter? Do you have that information? So we don't have that information, but they can type in in the chat box. Yes. So anyone needs an interpreter, please uh, put drop, drop a note here right now and uh, we will be assigning uh, Pre uh, Preeti and Arun to your respective room. Okay. So I can see no one has responded now. So at this moment, we don't have anyone who has a request for an interpreter, but at any point in time, if you have a request, you can please drop a note to Devanshi and uh, she will be assigning the um, interpreter, okay? So I'm going to be opening up six breakout rooms or subco punch I'm giving you five to seven minutes of time, okay? Um, uh, five to seven minutes of time, you'll be five or six people in your room. So for group one and group four, room one and room four, we'll discuss about 
what is the difference between disability and impairment okay group room 2 and room 5 you will discuss about difference between sympathy and empathy okay and group uh, room 3 and room 6 will discuss difference between equality and equality ठीक है एनी एनी डाउट्स क्वेश्चन एनी कोई डाउट्स है इसमें कैन वी कैन आई ओपन पुट यू इनटू थ्री दिस सिक्स रूम्स यदि आपको कंफ्यूजन है कोई भी टॉपिक लेके आप डिस्कस कर लीजिए बट डेफिनेटली डिस्कस इन योर ग्रुप ओके हैव यू मेड अ नोट ऑफ दिस टॉपिक्स प्लीज डिसेबिलिटी एंड इंपेयरमेंट सिंपैथी एंड एम्पैथी इक्वालिटी वर्सेस इक्वल I'm going to open all the rooms, and I will visit your room to see if you are discussing. But please discuss in your rooms, and we will regroup in seven minutes when we will discuss your findings. Okay? I'm opening all the rooms. You'll get an invitation. Please join your respective room. people who have not joined please join your respective rooms hardi sudhakar mohimanul please join your room join your room chandan ankaj someshwar please join your room please
so kindly wait as uh, everyone joins. I think we should about some minute in a couple of seconds. Everyone would be here, and then we will resume the session. Okay. Okay, sir. Great. See most of you have joined up. And really nice to see all of you discussing. So with a lot of enthusiasm in your respective breakout rooms. So the first topic, huh? first topic, um, disability versus impairment. Um, is car difference kya hai? Group, right. Room uh, one, room four. Huh, please. Aap apne naam introduce kijiye aur um, uh, uh, uske baare mein jo uh, aapko jo uh, difference hai, usse samjhaiye ka please. Yes. Okay, so um, I'm from group four. My name is Pooja and I'm a research scholar from Central University of Gujarat. So um, as far as our discussion went, uh, basically when we define impairment, it is, it is the physical part where a ligament or a tissue or the anatomical structure of the body gets, uh, gets impaired or uh, the functioning is limited in the physical part of the body. But that is a physical condition, while uh, disability is uh, that condition, which um, uh, disability is the condition where that, uh, where that loss or uh, limitation of opportunity is seen in the level of participation because of the conditions created by uh, society or because of lack of accessibility. So impairment in itself is not disabling the person, but uh, disability is the condition socially created which uh, uh, which uh, which hampers the participation of individual in the society also the second point is that um, uh, when we when we uh, talk Pooja, about Pooja, sorry sorry for to interrupt aap keh rahe ki impairment is a um, um, is the loss of uh, loss of anatomical of the structure. body or a loss yeah. of a sensory part of the functioning of the body right right whereas disability is Disability is the loss of opportunities or uh, the loss of participating, loss of chance of participating in society because of disabling conditions which are created as, as a result of environment around yeah. us, plus, uh, uh, plus the impairment. So it is a mix of both while impairment is physical. And secondly, impairment, uh, as my fellow participants suggested, that impairment can be uh, like impairment could be permanent but disability uh, could be temporary because it could be worked on with our environment and also some of the impairments could be permanent okay. and some could be temporary yeah excellent Thank claps you. to you this is visual claps to all of you to, to you and the group for um, bringing it i know you are researchers i i think you know deeply uh, about this topic but i'll um, there may be people at different terms of learning so for the benefit of all i let me explain I'm showing you these pictures in, on in the picture on the left, right side is of an individual who's a, who's a wheelchair user uh, wanting to get into a train, you know, uh, in an Indian railway station. The person has an impairment, which means, um, uh, and as a result of which, and, and the person has an impairment uh, uh, and has to depend on someone to get into a Indian railway station because there is a, um, the level uh, the platform and the tra railway coach are at different level. The same person, if the same person goes to London or any of the other countries, like I show in the image here, um, and on the right side, will get independent access into the uh, public transportation. So like Pooja said, here, if you can see deeply, the difference is it's the same person. Suppose you can just imagine for the moment, the same person. In one case, left side, independent to get into the train. In other case, is independent to uh, access public transportation. Okay, where is disability? Where is the disability created? Disability is created by the society. Like uh, Amit has said, it's a social issue. Impairment is a is a medical condition. It is personal to the individual. You can't hear. You can't walk. You see things differently. You learn differently. It's personal. We all will have some form of the impairment. 
that is personal that is not disability that when that that interacts with the various societal factors which we talked earlier you know physical like in this case or information uh, lack of infra, uh, communication barrier or most importantly if, uh, of course if somebody gets into the train and sab log usko ghoor ke dekhne lage ya or becoming with a lot of sympathy or pity again you know the person and why you are here or or or, or become too overly helpful towards that individual again we we create a uh, uh, what we say as a disability situation so disability situation is created by these factors in the society thanks pooja and um, amit rightly pointed out thought will reinforce this message in fact that that's the very definition as per rights of persons with disabilities act which draws from the un convention also persons with disabilities include those who have long term physical mental intellectual or um, impairment which in interaction with these various barriers societal barriers if, uh, uh, hinders their effectful and effective participation in the society okay theek hai great sympathy or empathy ke difference mein aapka kya baat cheet hua ग्रुप टू एंड ग्रुप फाइव सिंपथी और एम्पथी को किस तरह से डिफ्रेंशिएट करेंगे Yes, sir. So I'm Umang Bharadwaj. I'm a research scholar in research scholar in Delhi University. So okay. uh, uh, what we discussed in our group, uh, basically that uh, to feel sympathize with someone is like uh, looking at someone else's problem or barriers or uh, the suffering from our perspective and. uh being empathetic is like putting our foot put in uh, the uh, in the person shoes who are who is feeling who are going on through this sufferings and problems and that is empathizing uh also like ajit yeah. also shared uh, in our group he, uh, he said that uh, like if someone cry uh, in front of us and like if we cry along with him that that means to be empathize and uh, he just give this an example so in shivani she was saying that uh, it, the sympathy is a, a feeling of pity for someone and empathy means to deeply feel the issues and uh, but i think uh, uh, the sympathy is not a at at all no, totally a negative word but uh, like uh, sympathy also cannot be a negative word it it, uh, it on but like uh, you can feel sympathize with someone but you cannot really uh, feel the issue uh, or the things which the other person is going through like uh, i give an example of this transgender bill like uh, the government has made this transgender bill but uh, the person who for with for whom this bill is made maybe the the lawmaker were were with the view of uh, helping those transgender because they, they make this bill but uh, they were just sympathizing and they were not feeling with the they were not making this law with the feel of empathy because the whole community of uh, transgender they are against they don't like this bill and they are against sure. it they are many so, sympathy mein sare problem kya hai aap batayenge umang सर सिंपथी में प्रॉब्लम ये है कि आप आप जो पर्सन है उससे उसके जो उसके बेसिक इशू जो उसके उसकी जगह पे या फिर अपने आप को उसकी जगह पे रख के नहीं सोच पाते हैं कि उसके इश्यूज क्या है या फिर उसको प्रॉब्लम्स क्या है आप ऊपर से देखते हो और अपने परस्पेक्टिव से देखते हो आप अपने बेसिक आप अपने ग्रॉम्स से आप देखते हो कि उसको क्या इशूज हो सकते हैं लाइक यू डिसाइड फॉर समन एल्स लाइक वी करेंटली लाइक मैनी ऑफ दस आर डूइंग ऑन दस बुर्क thing going on karnataka that a uh, woman uh, should not wear burqa but it should be their choice and the the, the con- point of consideration should be there like wh- what are the re- reason they should be there or they should not but yeah or dusra sawal umang how do we transfer so, so yes pehla uh, baat hai ki mujhe i'll give you a different uh, one slight perspective is uh, uh, yes you are absolutely right um, no um, empathy is sympathy means help is needed बिचारा अलग पिटी ये सब सिंपति वाला फीलिंग है वेर एज सिंपति लाइक राइटली सेट कनेक्टेडनेस दूसरे का प्रॉब्लम को समझना अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक्सेप्टाइज एम्पति होता क्या वॉट आई ऑब्जर्व वेन पीपल गेट सिंपति इज योर हार्ट टेक्स चार्ज दिल आ जाता है कंट्रोल पे आप अपना इमोशन इमोशनली डिस्चार्ज हो जाते हो मैंने देखा इंटरव्यू इंटरव्यूअर्स को देखते हैं कि पर्सन है इंडिया में यू नो व्हील चेयर जब प्री कोविड इंटरव्यूज में व्हील चेयर नहीं है तो फ्लोर वॉकर आ गया फ्लोर से वॉक करके टेबल में आठ चेयर कुर्सी में सामने बैठ गया इंटरव्यू का उतना सिंपति से भर जाता है कि वो गॉड क्या हो रहा है पानी ला, पानी लाने में ला जाता है आप ठीक से कैसे आओ आप ठीक हो ऑल फाइन एक्सेट्रा ठीक है आपका रिज्यूमे 
uh, is completely lost track of the interview. So when you are filled with that emotion, you are, people are not, you are, the, the person is not able to do the job that a person is supposed to be doing, which is in this case, this guy, this person who's, a, uh, who's walking on the floor is a, is a computer engineer and has the ability to perform the role, but oh, interview hota nahi hai. we'll meet you later, karke, the person has lost it. So that is the biggest problem uh, with that kind of an emotion. So in order to overcome that, such, so what is, uh, Umang, what is your, in your experience, how do we transfer, we all have to trans move from this journey from, it is natural human being, you're going to feel sympathetic because there is diversity. Um, naturally, uh, we will feel for, uh, for, uh, for the human adversity will, will evoke that response. How do we move from sympathy to empathy? Any tips from your side? Uh, yes, sir. Like, uh, uh... Like I was discussing in the group as well, like back when, when we were in Kerodimal College, when I was in Kerodimal College. So like uh, through this society press only, we should we used to do this uh, event in which we uh, make a group of two person, uh, the able-bodied person. And uh, like one of the person is got blindfolded. And, and like we they go through this uh, walk from KMC to uh, Vishwit uh, with the help of the other person who is not blindfolded. So to make him feel like what, what kind of difficulty or suffering of, uh, a person with uh, visual impairment goes through. So, like, uh, I don't think like it. Uh, like, obviously, uh, we can uh, give the we can make many uh, presentations or make, we can make many PPTs. To uh, we can add a course in the school curriculum or uh, like to uh, in uh, to make the students or person or the society uh, aware about the problems and the issues and uh, what what are the things which can be uh, done to make the environment accessible and how can reasonable accommodation to given to every person of disability and what kind of behavior you should be having and what kind of word you should not be saying the, the, the thing this uh, current course, course is doing because there are many persons uh, who are not a uh, person with disability in this group as well so they are going to learn and they are going to communicate with this their friend and i think this is the way this is the only way we can uh, like make uh, people aware and uh, thanks so much yes so sensitization learning knowledge Excellent. I mean, good points. I know, uh, but all I would say, I'll have one tip because all of that will never ever, uh, you know, uh, really give us a complete insight. You know, um, for example, just by blindfolding, you never come to know what is their life. It is only one aspect of a um, of a life of a person with uh, vision impairment. Not complete. You know, there are mul multiple things about um, uh, challenges and barriers. So it is. It will not give a complete experience though. One tip that I've learned, and it is still, I remain, a, um, it remain find it most useful is interaction with people. Jabbi bhi aapko mauka milta hai, college mein, friend mein, aap rapo banaye, or try to interact and learn more about um, the actual barriers. And then, and then that's how you are able to say, okay, this is, this is the challenge. You are develop, that's how you develop better, empathy and better understanding of methodically how I can go about, we can go about, you know, the drive in, in each one of us to move to action comes much more alive. Okay. okay. Third group, equal, equality or equal treatment. Samanatha or Saman Avasar. Kya fark hai? Group three, group six. आप लोगों ने discuss किया था मैंने देखा था काफी अच्छा अच्छी तरह से चर्चा हो रहा था उधर. Hello. हाँ जी, please. Introduce your name. Hello. हाँ, please go ahead. Sir, equal treatment is not actually exactly similar to equal opportunity. हाँ जी. There was there yes, is some fine. actually uh, graphic available on internet which was circulated on uh, social media that what do you mean by equality? That means giving equal uh, chances without considering the other factors. And a wala picture, Amit? Yes, yes, yes. Aap in describe uh, karenge so that everyone knows what this picture is. That will be good. Uh, for example, equality means giving equal chances. For example, uh, the law which says that every child has a right of education. Hmm. So every child or children has equal chance to get educated. Correct. However, 
equal opportunity considers the other factors the barriers which act uh, which prevents a student to get educated so that is called as equity that is fairness so yes. if a person like in this graphic if the child is having uh, a short stature and he want to visualize that uh, see that match he has been given more heighted uh, base so he or she can watch the match so it's better that there should be equity rather than equality that is fairness or equal opportunity so equal perfect. opportunity is important than equality perfect equity equal equity pehle matlab just again i'll reiterate excellent answer amit thanks to you and the group for ब्रिंगिंग इट आउट करेक्टली हियर ये पिक्चर में तीन लोग अलग अलग हाइट के लोग हैं गेम देख रहे हैं तीनों के एक तरह का स्टूल दिया हुआ है और एक बैरियर है जिससे कि छोटा कद वाला बंदा वो गेम देख ही नहीं पाता है नॉट एबल टू सी द गेम फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई स्पीक इन हिंदी लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल हियर हु अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश के नॉट गेट दे वुड नॉट बी एबल टू एक्सेप्ट सिमिलर सिमिलर सिचुएशन और साइन लैंग्वेज um users and i continue to speak without having arun or preeti to uh, to support us um, the that that deaf person is left out of uh, this meeting so same so here the first the picture short person in short structure is left out of the meeting that is equal everybody is equal treatment a meeting chal raha hai sabka equal hai but someone is still uh, not able to um, access but if i change the height of the stool so that the sub everyone gets or if i create and gets an opportunity to view the game or if i create inclusive design by removing and putting a wire mesh then everybody gets uh, to uh, see perfect uh, shivani and pooja all of you have absolutely nailed it uh, I, i'll give another example here you know just to make it even more clear aptitude test you know we conduct aptitude test and in fact this really happened about 7 or 8 years back um i visited a Uh, the postal service board when they were conducting test for uh, the first level postal assistant ka jo job hota hai uske uske liye they were conducting test and i asked that individual um aap uh, test um, um, conduct karte ho jisme postman postal assistant select hota hai to kaise karte ho aap to bolte advertisement karte hain print mein um uh, hamara paper and pen test hai aur uh, sabka same time hai sab theek hai sab badhiya hai very nice to aapke bahut sare log hai blind people jo postman पोस्टल ये जॉब जिनके लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है और जो जॉब के लिए एस्पिरेशन रखते हैं वो कैसे टेस्ट को अटेंड करेंगे बोलते नहीं 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 हम वी डोंट डिस्क्रिमिनेट सब इक्वल एवरीवन इज इक्वल वी डोंट डिस्क्रिमिनेट बट यू कैन वेरी क्लियरली सी देर इज इनडायरेक्ट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इफ आई पुट ओनली इन प्रिंट तो रेडियो पीपल विद प्रिंट हुआ प्रिंट डिसेबल्ड विल नेवर गेट टू नो कि क्या ये एडवर्टाइजमेंट कभी देख ही नहीं पाएंगे so how do we convert this situation of equality to equity is by advertising in radios giving it in other networks you know there are blind associations deaf associations wahan pe bhi apna advertisements um, you know, publish karna chahiye same time allocation you know kisi uh, kisi ne scribe rakha hai ya person with cerebral palsy ne scribe rakha hai ya dyslexia hai wo thoda time usko bhi thoda time zyada lag raha hai padhne ke liye so, thoda additional time so do स्कूल में तो आप लोग मेनी ऑफ यू नो 20 मिनट्स फॉर एवरी आवर बस एडिशनल टाइम कोई फेवर नहीं है गेन इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी आई एम का टेस्ट है तो यू नो अभी व्हेन पीपल कैन कैरी देयर स्पेक्स टू टू टेक अ टेस्ट व्हाई नॉट अदर डिवाइसेस मैग्नीफायर क्यों नहीं अलोइंग डिवाइस ये सब इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी नो फेवर बीइंग डन इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट ट्रीटिंग पीपल इक्वली ये इसका ये नहीं है कि हम यू नो फर्स्ट we have to ensure there is equal opportunity sab ko saman avasar provide kiya jaye uske baad aap equally treat kijiye means uske baad ho sakta hai performance we come after getting a job we don't expect less from an individual there you need to treat people fairly and equally you don't expect ki uh, 20 uh, ka koi productivity hai just number de raha hu 20 average productivity hai person with disability hai to 15 chalega wo nahi ab sabka self uh sabka self esteem hota hai uh, everyone wants to perform you you have to have this give this have the same expectation as a manager there okay so i hope that clarifies uh, the difference between equal uh, equal opportunity and equity i'll quickly skip through this 
we all know that private sector is covered under the law and job reservations um, um, is not mandatory under the new law and uh, some i'll just uh, run you through uh, run you through what are the requirements of private sector you know generally equal opportunity ekto these are the five things every company which has more than 20 they say but most companies will have more than 20 employees the uh, in general which we are talking about we are talking about those like private companies five things to do one policy needs to be formed and published on the net and also displayed prominently and also shared with uh, um, the government authorities fir ek liaison officer appoint karna hai who is who would be the external and internal um, uh, for anything related with uh, equal opportunity that person that liaison officer is accountable usually a senior hr um, uh, staff hota hai and all the hr policies yani ki policy ban gaya aapne bada bada statements likh diya hai but all your supporting policies needs to be revamped you know aapka hr policy mein likha hai we are an equal opportunity employer uh, and uh, um, a, a, a people with disabilities uh, are are encouraged to apply and we are committed to providing reasonable accommodation ne likh diya hai par ab iske liye aapko protocol reasonable accommodation aap matlab jab koi aapka test likhega ya interview ke liye attempt aayega to kya aap how do you make sure there is equal opportunity ye aapka protocol ke liye aapka operating guidance bhi bana hai to isliye aapke char policies hiring practices har stage mein wo employee ke application stage mein um or um, uh, career um, growth ke stage mein uh, um, promotion ke stage mein or team team bonding team events usme bhi we have to ensure that there is equal opportunity fir tisra requirement hai ki records aapko maintain karna of person of employees with disabilities record maintain karna hai na na ki return file karna hai aapko return karna hai jab bhi authorities ne aapse pucha aapko you need to be providing those uh, records and फोर्स नहीं करना है किसी को डिस्क्लोज करने के लिए नीड टू ओवर कम्स फॉरवर्ड एंड वॉलेंट्री डिस्क्लोज यू नीड टू मेंटेन दोस रिकॉर्ड्स इनफैक्ट गुड प्रैक्टिसेस आप ऐसा कल्चर बनाइए कि एम्प्लॉइज विद डिसेबिलिटीज फील एम फील कॉन्फिडेंट एंड सेफ टू डिस्क्लोज एंड एंड दैट्स हाउ दैट इज व्हाट इज इज अ गुड प्रैक्टिस हम एंड देन कंफर्म टू एक्सेस नॉर्म्स है फिजिकल डिसेबिलिटी फिजिकल एनवायरनमेंट के और इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी नॉर्म्स हैव टू बी फॉलोड and head of establishment which is a ceo or a managing director for, is accountable for ensuring there is equal opportunity prohibiting discrimination so this is these are very very clear um um requirement which are stated in our rights of persons with disabilities specifically with respect to employment okay? and, and private sector public sector dono mein ye hai public sector mein in fact grievance redressal and other things are further very very clearly uh, prescribed okay uh, so umang ka umang your question is is this provision followed by private establishment they are required to follow um, you know it is because it is a law in lot of private establishment especially large companies um, they 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 generally want to follow the law of the land um, uh, so there is a letter of the law and there is a spirit of the law um the spirit of the law as i say is equal opportunity still a long way to go from the spirit of the law they are all trying at least now it has become pehle kya tha acha hai kar lenge bahut acha hai kar le abhi acha hai kar lenge nahi hai karna hi padega nahi to aap you are deviating you are deviating from what is the law of the land if someone takes you to the court you are responsible or accountable to present yourself and defend defend in the court of law so that because of that lot of companies are um, are paying attention to um, to this particular um, requirement and are uh, I, uh, if they are, are they following it fully i would say still a long way to go but it has um, got the attention to this topic okay? to the spirit okay uh, any questions up to this stage as or we can pro progress to the last bit of our session here any questions and no sir thank you i'm just progressing to the last part of our uh, session here um but i would like to this case study before i pro progress okay here um we have i'm uh, uh, i'm showing you a picture of a person who is 
हु हैज बायोलेटरल अपर लिम डिफॉर्मिटी उसका मतलब दोनों हाथ दोनों शोल्डर से नीचे डिफॉर्म है पर्सन डज नॉट हैव बोथ द लिम्स अपर लिम फ्रॉम द शोल्डर ओके his name is ajay and the person is qualified as a bcom he has not worked in a formal employment um, he has worked as a is a paralympic swimming coach and gets 15000 rupees regular monthly income uh, okay aap you please put yourself into the shoes of a um, employer aap manager hai aap aap koi bank mein kaam kar rahe hain banking process hai aapko paas ye application aaya hai ajay has applied for a role Which is a, a banking process, non-voice. मतलब उसमें phone में बात does does not require um, communication on the phone, but it requires extensive work on the desktop computers. Okay. So आजाए एक application आपके पास आया है. So आप manager हो, तो how will you proceed with the uh, uh, the discussion? आप आजाए को क्या कहेंगे? Anybody please, जो मन में आए आप हायर करेंगे नहीं हायर करेंगे या आगे बात बढ़ाएंगे या अजय को बोलेंगे कि हमारे पास ये सुविधा नहीं है अब हम हम ये सुविधा करने के बाद अटेंड आपको बुलाएंगे जो भी आपके मन में आए आप बताइए हाँ जी क्विकली प्लीज शुभम आप प्लीज बोलिए क्या यू यू सेड आप विल गिव अ ट्राई मतलब क्या है इसका मतलब ट्राई कर एटलीस्ट आई एल प्रोवाइड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू लेट हिम प्रूफ कि मतलब सर द थिंग इज कि अगर कोई आपके पास आ रहा है एम्प्लॉयमेंट के लिए तो कहीं ना कहीं वो जानता है कि जो आपकी रिक्वायरमेंट्स है वो उसको फुलफिल कर सकता है तो एज अ एम्प्लॉयर तो इसमें will... मैंने क्लियरली बोला है कि इसमें टाइप करना है कंप्यूटर में तो आप कैसे आप क्या बोलेंगे टाइपिंग है कंप्यूटर में लगता है काम तो आप कैसे अजय को क्या बोलेंगे सर आई विल काम कंप्यूटर में है पूरा डेस्कटॉप में कंप्यूटर में बहुत सारा काम है इसमें स्पीच ट्रांसलेशन पूजा सिंह स्पीच टू टेक्स्ट ट्रांसलेशन ठीक शुभम आप कुछ कह रहे थे ओके आई कम टू दैट सर द थिंग इज की आई मतलब आई एल गिव अ ट्राई टू अजय की लेट लेट हिम डिसाइड या लेट हिम सजेस्ट मी कि इन विच वे ही विल परफॉर्म दिस टास्क अगर सामने वाला पर्सन आपके पास जैसे कंप्यूटर का टास्क है सर और वो ये जाने पे भी कंप्यूटर का टास्क है आ रहे हैं मतलब एम्प्लॉयमेंट के लिए तो कहीं ना कहीं उनके पास प्लान होगा कि वो किस तरह से इस चीज को करेंगे मान लीजिए उन्हें कुछ एक्स्ट्रा सॉफ्टवेयर एक्स्ट्रा कह लीजिए कि एसेसिबिलिटी की जरूरत पड़ती है अगर वो बहुत नहीं है मेरी कंपनी आराम से उतना अफोर्ड कर सकती है तो आई विल डेफिनेटली गिव गिव अ ट्राई अच्छा तो अजय अजय से आप पूछेंगे कि आप ये जॉब कैसे करेंगे है ना यस सर मैं तो बिल्कुल आराम से टाइप कर लेता हूँ मुझे टाइपिंग का कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है तो अगला सवाल क्या पूछेंगे जॉब है टाइपिंग है मैं बी कॉम हूँ मैं नॉलेज है बी कॉम का अकाउंटिंग अच्छे से जानता हूँ और एक कंप्यूटर में काम करने वाला जो नौकरी है मैं टाइपिंग अच्छे से कर लेता हूँ मैं बिल्कुल रेडी हूँ तो आप नेक्स्ट सवाल कैसे पूछेंगे सर देर उसके बाद नेक्स्ट सवाल का कुछ नहीं है आई अलॉट हिम वर्क अगर वो उसको परफॉर्म कर पा रहे हैं इसका मतलब वो खुद को प्रूफ कर ले रहे हैं सर एंड दैट इज व्हाट द प्राइवेट सेक्टर से कि ईच एंड एवरी बॉडी मतलब जो भी है वहाँ पे सर वो खुद को जो रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं कंपनी की अगर वो पूरी हो रही हैं हाँ जी तो सर लेट द इंडिविजुअल डिसाइड द मोड राइट सो सही बात परफेक्ट सुबह मैं इसको मैं एक्सप्लेन करता हूँ ये सब एक्चुअली हुआ है दिस आर केसेस विच आर रियली एक्सपीरियंस इन आवर वर्क बिकॉज हम लोग एम्प्लॉयमेंट में डील करते हैं आज का सीवी एक बड़ी कंपनी बड़ी बैंक जो इंक्लूजन एकदम इट्स नथिंग अगेंस्ट द कंपनी बट दिस इज दिस इज वर हमारा सोसाइटी का सोच हमारा सोच है मतलब है उसको जब पहुंचा था उन्होंने बोला कि हम लोग पहले तो बोला कि हम लोकोमोटर लो डिसेबिलिटी मोबिलिटी ही हम हायर करेंगे है? अभी अभी हमारा रेडी हमारी रेडीनेस उतना ही है तो ठीक है ठीक है एक सीवी हमने भेजा आ जाएगा बोला नहीं नहीं लोकोमोटर ठीक है हमको चाहिए हाथ चाहिए हमको पैर पैर 
पैर पैर वाला चले व्हील चेयर यूजर चलेगा क्रच यूजर चलेगा बट इसमें बहुत डेस्कटॉप में काम करना है तो दोनों हाथ सही होना चाहिए क्लियरली इस तरह से बोला सर बॉस आप तो हमने पूछा एक सेकेंड आपको आपको क्या चाहिए आपका जॉब क्या है जॉब टाइपिंग है जॉब में ठीक है आपको कंप्यूटर का नॉलेज है ये चाहिए कि ये चाहिए कि दो हाथ चाहिए तीन पैर चाहिए चार पैर चाहिए बोलना चाहिए क्या चाहिए आपको फिर उस तो हम तब हमने उस तरह से सवाल किया जो रिक्रूटर से तो बोला हमको तो टाइपिंग चाहिए बिल्कुल दैट इज व्हाट इट इज तो ये ऑब्जेक्टिवली हमें टाइपिंग करना जानना चाहिए बंदा तो फिर आप उससे पूछिए जैसे शुभम ने कहा कि आप आप टाइपिंग तो फिर उसके लिए कैसे आप टाइपिंग कैसे टेस्ट कर आप कैसे इसका हाउ डू यू नो पीपल रीच इतना एक्यूरेसी इतना स्पीड हमारे पास स्टैंडर्ड टाइपिंग टेस्ट है हम सबको देते हैं तो आप पूछिए शुभम को टाइपिंग uh, टेस्ट uh, ले सकता है कि नहीं शुभम ने शुभम ने बोला हाँ ले सकता हूँ शुभम को क्या चाहिए था कि टाइप कम जो कम uh, जो डेस्कटॉप है थोड़ा नीचे चाहिए था और पैर से टाइप करता था पूरा सॉरी शुभम सॉरी अजय पैर से टाइप करता था एंड ही कुड मीट द सेम स्पीड एंड एक्यूरेसी विच द कंपनी नीड्स एंड ही हैड द नॉलेज ही गॉट सेलेक्टेड इज नाउ इन द बैंक डूइंग गॉट वन प्रमोशन ऑल्सो एंड डूइंग वेल सो बेसिकली क्या है ना ये हमारे हम लोग सब नॉट ओनली हम लोग सारे बायस्ड है सब ह्यूमन ब्रेन जो है उस तरह से बना हुआ है कि हमें बायस बना देता है हम कंडीशन को देख के जब किसी को दो हाथ नहीं है तो हम सोचते कि टाइप एक हाथ दोनों चाहिए टाइप करने के लिए हमारा दिमाग उस तरह से प्रोग्रामड है कि दोनों हाथ चाहिए टाइप करने के लिए क्योंकि दैट इज अदरवाइज दिमाग काम नहीं करेगा इसलिए हमें ये रिकोगनाइज करना है कि हम बायस्ड है इस और हमें ये बायस को हटाना कैसे बाई बींग ऑब्जेक्टिव ये नहीं देखना है कि इसमें बंद, बंदे का हाथ है कि नहीं है कि मेडिकल कंडीशन क्या है इम्पेयरमेंट नो अबिलिटी हमारा जॉब ये है आप कर सकते लाइक जैसे शुभम ने क्लियरली कहा है मेरा जॉब का रिक्वायरमेंट ये है आप मीट कर सकते हो कि नहीं वो वो जज करना है ना कि ये जज करना है कि हाथ नहीं है तो टाइप नहीं कर सकते दैट जजमेंट और बायस क्लाउड टू बी टोटली अवॉइडेड सो डोंट अज्यूम एनी थिंग आस्क द पर्सन विल टेल यू पर्सन इज ऑलमोस्ट एन एक्सपर्ट Or agencies uh, like us, or will tell you, or NCPDP, uh, or anyone will tell you that you need to know. Okay, then ask the person and don't assume anything. Ask the person and make and provide that accommodation. Just make. Just put. 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 टेक्नोलॉजी लगेगा हमारे पास अभी एच आर में अभी टेक्नोलॉजी अप्रूव नहीं है तो अभी रुकते हैं बाद में करते हैं इस तरह की भी सोच जा सकती है अजय को अजय को सोच अजय को बताने दीजिए कि टेक्नोलॉजी लगेगा कि नहीं हम ही नहीं टेक्नोलॉजी लगेगा कि नहीं अजय बताएगा कि मुझे इस तरह की सुविधा चाहिए वो सुविधा हमें प्रोवाइड करना है ठीक है सो बेसिकली दिस केस वॉज ओनली टू शो दैट वी ऑल है तो इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी जब बात करते हैं तो चार मैंने इसको चार इसमें पार्ट्स में डाला है एक एक है रिक्रूटमेंट में जो इंक्लूसिव प्रैक्टिसेस है दूसरा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और प्रोसेसेस में जो जो चेंज चाहिए टू मेक टू इंश्योर दर इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी तीसरा कल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर लैंग्वेज एंड फाइनली अफर्मेटिव एक्शन ये चारों को थोड़ा क्विकली वी विल रिविजिट आई एम आई थिंक आई हैव फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स टू um uh, wind up this session so i'll we'll quickly visit each of this i know um uh, i wanted to do a group activity but i will not um, go there but i'll take a few, quick um, aap aap logo se puchunga ki online interview conduct karna hai um so how can we make an online interview accessible any examples tip any tips to make online interview accessible आपको यू नो टीम्स टीम्स और जूम में इंटरव्यू होता है तो उसको फुल्ली एक्सेसिबल करने के लिए क्या क्या करना चाहिए एनीवन प्लीज सोनिया से इज क्लोज कैप्शनिंग यस टू एंश्योर देर इज क्लोज कैप्शनिंग ओके enough only of course if i put close captioning interview will become uh, perfect
Anybody else? Interpretation, yes. To provide an online real-time interpreter. Yes, time flexibility. Keshav, what do you mean by time flexibility? Can you please explain? Uh, can you hear me? Keshav, I can hear you. I have seen some online job interviews, like the internet connection is closed, or there is a quiz, or there is an MCQ, which is time. तो बस मेरा ये है कि थोड़ा सा वो रहता है ना कि ये इंटरव्यू 20 मिनट का है ये 5 मिनट का है तो वो एक फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी मतलब हो सकता है कि 5 मिनट में ही खत्म हो जाए हो सकता है 10 मिनट में ही खत्म हो जाए लेकिन ये नहीं कि हां हमें 5 मिनट में ही खत्म कर एक फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी हो एक सेंस ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी हो जिससे वो कंफर्ट फील करे साइकोलॉजिकली प्रेशर फील ना दिस फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी कि टाइम का कोई लिमिट नहीं है कभी-कभी एंजाइटी आता है कि 30 मिनट में खत्म हो जाएगा जवाब मुझे तुरंत देना देने का प्रेशर रहता है किसी को जवाब को को देने में ही टाइम लग सकता है सम कंडीशंस में रिएक्ट रेस्पॉन्ड करने में तो हैविंग दैट फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इज इज व्हाट यू आर मेंशन करेक्ट और एनीथिंग एल्स क्लोज कैप्शनिंग साइन लैंग्वेज इंटरप्रेटेशन वेरी गुड पॉइंट केशव फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी option of video on video off uske option not necessarily make uh, video on hota because of um, you know uh, requirement sometimes you know wo, uh, video on rakhe hi interview karna hai aise companies ka uh, requirement hai kyunki uh, video on uh, fake interviews hote hain koi aur interview karke aa raha hai okay, us job ke liye isliye companies ko mandate kiya gaya ki interview on करके किया जाए तो but some people may not be comfortable with that तो उसके लिए वो option उनसे वो person से पहले ही discuss करके हम क्यों हम on कर रहे हैं और उससे उसका you have to use some other methods to secure the uh, veracity of the the interview process but you have to, for that person making sure the uh, interview is um, accessible Screen reading software interview me Sonia. How do you see screening software? Can you explain, please? If of course I'm sharing some material, uh, ensuring that uh, material head to all uh, if I. Um, to uh, not having devices is another yes all of the interview practice so i'm trying to give you a framework now recruitment inclusive how, how do we talking about infrastructure empowerment so i will go through each one of this very quickly so that a framework ban jayega ki equal opportunity jo path hai hum ye isko maine char e's mein equal opportunity ka char e's mein baata hai enable employ engage or empower okay enable kya hota hai enable is infrastructure governance aapka leadership policies uh, publish or um, uh, and aapke uh, readiness hona chahiye budget hona chahiye centralize karna chahiye budget ye bhi ek enablement hai kya hota hai ki mera ek small business unit hai char panch business unit hai to so, reasonable accommodation mujhe provide karna hai to mere business unit ek business unit ke ke, ke, ke kharche pe nahi ho jaye isko kharcha nahi dekha jaye isko centralize kiya to cent, um, sub, sub managers ko ye aashwasan diya jata hai ki आपको एबिलिटी के बेसिस में सेलेक्ट करना है जो भी बजट है रीजनेबल अकोमोडेशन के लिए ट्रांसपोर्ट या इंटरप्रेटर और स्क्रीन रीडर उसके लिए सेंट्रल बजट है उससे मीट होगा तो वो जो हायरिंग मैनेजर है उसको ये जो बजट वाला कॉस्ट का बायस पूरा सा हटा जाएगा तो हायरिंग मैनेजर को शॉर्ट टर्म में तो ये तो सोचता है कि मेरा मेरा मेरे मुझे कॉस्ट इंटर करना पड़ रहा है ये कॉस्ट नहीं है हम उसको सेंट्रलाइज्ड बजट जब करते हैं तो ये कंपनी उसको इन्वेस्टमेंट की तरह से देखती है 
और जिससे कि रिटर्न और ये टैलेंट पूल को अट्रैक्ट करने के लिए दिस आर ऑल एनेबलमेंट प्रोविजन इंक्लूडिंग प्रोवाइडिंग दिस वर्क प्लेस अकोमोडेशन आपके आई थिंक यूल है डिटेल सेशन ऑन रिजनेबल अकोमोडेशन सिर्फ ये मैं डिफरेंस बनाना चाहता हूँ कि इंफ्रा एक्सेसिबिलिटी क्या है स्टैंडर्ड्स आपके रैम टॉयलेट्स ये डिजिटल एक्सेसिबिलिटी ये सब स्टैंडर्ड है ये तो आपको फॉलो uh, करना ही करना है दीज आर स्टैंडर्ड्स लॉ भी है अभी इट यू हैव टू पुट दिस इन प्लेस बट दैट अलोन डज नॉट मेक इज नॉट एनेबलमेंट आपको बेस्ड ऑन द इंडिविजुअल बाई टॉकिंग टू द इंडिविजुअल लाइक इवन इन दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इंटरव्यू यस इंटरप्रेटर लाया आपने किया क्लोज कैप्शनिंग किया और दोस्त टू आर मैंडेट बट देन टॉक टू दिट इंडिविजुअल इफ एनी अदर सपोर्ट इज नीडेड इफ फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी इज नीडेड एडिशनल टाइम फॉर दर इंटरव्यू इज नीडेड और यू नो एलोइंग दर्सन टू ओनली रेस्पॉन्ड क्वेश्चन इन चार्ट दर्सन सेज और दर्सन प्रिफर्स टेलीफोनिंग ऑल ऑफ दैट आर रीजनेबल अकोमोडेशन विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी मेट नो सो these are examples of reasonable accommodation again these are to make the whole process equal and not benefiting anyone um, no favor being done sorry so equal opportunity you know reasonable accommodation again you will cover in detail but there can be high tech low tech like devices um, dictaphones desk changing desk etc these are examples sir but but they can also be process you know just time dada de diya thoda sa flexibility jo baat kiya hai baat ki hai humne मेटीरियल को डिफरेंट फॉर्मेट में दे दिया है ये सब भी प्रोसेस चेंज भी हो सकते हैं मतलब ब्लड ब्लड डिसऑर्डर है उनको ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन के लिए एक घंटे के लिए जाना पड़ता है उसके लिए यदि हमारा लीव पॉलिसी है कि आप एक घंटे के लिए बाहर जाएंगे तो आधा दिन का लीव चलेगा देन उनको यदि हर हफ्ते लीव ऐसे हाफ ऑफ डे उनको लेना पड़े पड़े तो छुट्टी नहीं रहेगी फॉर एक्चुअल कैजुअल लीव एंड अदर वर्क दे वुड नॉट गेट सो allowing that flexibility you can take a break but you can make up by working little bit extra um, and uh, cover the you know your backlog so if allowing that break itself is um, is is a process related accommodation so not necessarily equipment high tech low tech okay? so i'm just giving you an example here india accessibility center uh, accenture launch kiya bangalore mein when in manila etc jahan par ye sare devices unke displayed hai Uh, उनके कैटलॉग है कैटलॉग में हर टाइप के डिवाइसेस फॉर हियरिंग विजन सेंसरी दिस इज देयर एंड एनीबडी कैन कॉल द दैट इंडिया एक्सेसिबिलिटी सेंटर वो डिवाइस का डेमो ले सकते हैं एंड गेट अ टच एंड फील ऑफ द डिवाइस एंड देन यू नो पुट टू यूज दिस इज एन एग्जांपल अ गुड प्रैक्टिस जो ऑन एनेबलमेंट विच अंपनी ठीक है क्विकली वन क्वेश्चन हियर persons with disabilities are best a uh, suited for certain types of jobs humne jab shuru shuru mein jab baat kiya tha i don't i forgot who stated that ki mobility um, jis job mein mobility kam hai to wheelchair user ko diya jaye ye sahi hai nahi hai wrong no sir i don't think so uh... करेक्ट एग्जैक्टली साक्षी सो अभी ऑटिज्म में है लोग का पास एक्सेप्शनल स्किल है तो सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग के लिए उनको रोल दे दिया ये गलत है आप कह रहे हैं सम पर्सन विथ ऑटिज्म गर यू नो दिस कंडीशन हैज पर्सन हैज एक्सेप्शनल मेमोरी विजुअल मेमोरी सो गिविंग देम जॉब एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग वर यू हैव वेरी नीड दैट वेरी वेरी गुड क्वालिटी एंड आई स्किल्स ऐसा जॉब देना सही नहीं है इज दैट वॉट यूर सेंग साक्षी दिव्यांशी कैन आई कंटिन्यू फॉर टेन मिनट प्लीज कि कोई और क्लास है सबका यस यू कैन कंटिन्यू या साक्षी विल चेक इफ शी इज 
uh, if she is able to do the job efficiently uh, the way i want then i will give the job uh that is fine but they are bringing that person is bringing exceptional skill uh, sir can you please repeat the question yeah. my question is a person with autism uh, asperger syndrome has strong visual memory visual uh, pattern recognition skills hai na you know that right so yeah, i'm uh, making uh, putting them all to do um a job which is uh, requiring software testing where the high pattern recognition and error detection quality is required uh wo job unko us tarah ka hi job unko assign karna hai sahi hai nahi hai i think no ha huh? haan ji i think no that uh, you are saying that uh, we have to give them only that kind of job yes if i'm if i'm a company and i find this is hugely this person has huge talent minus offer kiya us tarah ka job then no uh, if she uh, wants that uh, that kind of job then i will give correct and if she wa wants another kind of job then uh, i will check the uh, her abilities and if she is doing it sure uh, uh, in a manner in the manner i require so i will give another okay. job got got sakshi keshav you would like to say something हाँ लेकिन थोड़ा सा तो इसके लिए मैं माफी चाहूंगा क्या मैं ऑडिबल हूँ हाँ अभी ऑडिबल है केशव जी बोलिए ठीक है मैं काउंसलर था मतलब कुछ दिन पहले मैं मतलब मैंने मैं तीन साल और ऑटिज्म के साथ मैंने काम किया था तो मैंने डायवर्सिटी देखी थी जॉब को लेके थोड़ा सा आपके यहाँ बैकग्राउंड नॉइस से या हाँ बोलिए आप हेलो हाँ तो हाँ हाँ तो हाँ मैं माफी चाहूंगा पे मैं थोड़ा सा ट्रेवल कर रहा हूँ इसीलिए तो आ, मैंने एक जो स्टूडियो टाइप है कि वो खास जॉब की म्यूजिक है या कुछ इस तरह के पैटर्न लोग बोलते हैं कि वो कर पाएंगे और इसका भी है क्योंकि वोकेशनल सेंटर्स की कमी और प्री वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग की कमी के कारण ये होता है कि उनको थोप दिया जाता है लेकिन जो मैंने देखा जब मैं की काउंसलिंग करता था साइको एजुकेशन का काम करता था और बच्चे के लिए जब मैं बिहेवियर थेरेपी डिजाइन करता था तो देखता था अलग अलग इंटरेस्ट थे अलग अलग स्किल और अलग अलग उनके पोटेंशियल को मैं समझता था ऑब्जर्व करता था तो ये जो क्वेश्चन है इससे मैं थोड़ा सा एग्री नहीं करूंगा कई बार परफेक्ट आपका और दोनों साक्षी और इससे मैं पूरी तरह से सहमत हूँ जॉब्स हमें जॉब और जॉब का जो स्किल एबिलिटी है जॉब में जो स्किल रिक्वायरमेंट है और बंदे का जो पर्सन का स्किल है एबिलिटी है और एस्पिरेशन है उसको मैच करना चाहिए जॉब इस जॉब को ये बंदा इस टाइप का डिसेबिलिटी करना चाहिए डेफ पीपल मतलब डेटा एंट्री ऑटिज्म मतलब सॉफ्टवेयर ब्लाइंड पर्सन मतलब टीचर या इंडस्ट्री में आपने बहुत सारे एग्जाम्पल देखे होंगे कि बहुत सारे सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग में एस एपी लैब्स में ऑटिज्म को प्रोवाइड किया डेफ में डेटा टाइप के जॉब्स में ये ये इसलिए है कि नॉट बिकॉज ब्लाइंड पर्सन इंजीनियर या सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर नहीं बन सकता ब्लाइंड पर्सन को अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं है स्टेम स्कूल में एजुकेशन में कंपेयर टू साइटेड पर्सन कम अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलता है इसलिए नहीं इंजीनियर बन पाता है इसलिए उनका मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर दूसरे तरह के ग्रेजुएशन मतलब लिबरल आर्ट्स और वो परसू करते हैं करेक्ट तो बट चेंज सिचुएशन चेंज हो रहा है विद इंक्लूजन एंड होप फ्री टू चेंज एंड जब स्कूल में भी सर तरह के सब तरीके का का डाइवर्स एजुकेशन उनको जब सबको एक्सेसिबल होगा ब्लाइंड पर्सन डेफ पर्सन और पीपल विद न्यूरो डाइवर्जन कंडीशन देन वील सी ये इंडस्ट्री में भी उस तरह से रिफ्लेक्ट करेगा कि हर टाइप के जॉब्स हैं हाँ कुछ कुछ यू नो बिकॉज ऑफ कोपिंग उनके स्ट्रेंथ होते हैं यदि वो पर्सन लाइक साक्षी सेट पर्सन लाइक सेट एंड वो स्ट्रेंथ को कोप कर से मैं कंपनी को और कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकता हूँ और मुझे और बेनिफिट Uh, मुझे भी uh, अपना बेनिफिट मिल सकता है एज एन एम्प्लॉय एंड ग्रो दैट इज परफेक्टली फाइन दैट इज वाई 
पैटर्न ये ब्लाइंड पर्सन है एक कंपनी है डिस्कवरिंग हैंड्स जिसमें ब्लाइंड पर्सन कैन का टैक्टाइल सेंस ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सुपीरियर हो सकता है फुल्ली हायर डिग्री ऑफ टच सेंस है तो कुछ वुमेन को उन्होंने ट्रेन किया और ये ऑस्ट्रिया और जर्मनी में और अभी इंडिया में भी मैंने भी वुमेन के साथ काम कर रहे हैं तो वो ये है कि टच सेंसिंग के सेंसेशन की वजह से उनका जो कैंसर वुमेन में थोड़ा जल्दी टच करके डिटेक्ट कर सकते हैं तो उससे क्या होता है कि जो स्टेज हायर स्टेज जाने के पहले डिटेक्ट हो जाता है तो बहुत अच्छा है समाज के लिए ये कैंसर केयर के लिए प्रिवेंशन के लिए दूसरा जो गायनोकोलॉजिस्ट होते हैं जो ये करते हैं उनका काम भी कम हो जाता है उन वो हर हर पर्सन को फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पहले इतना जल्दी डिटेक्ट नहीं कर पाते हैं दूसरा उनको भी काम आ जाता है ये पहला स्क्रीनिंग यदि ब्लाइंड पर्सन कर लेता है तो इट बिकम्स सो हैविंग क्रिएटिंग प्रोएक्टिव वे ऑफ यूजिंग दैट टैलेंट टू क्रिएट जॉब्स प्रोवाइडेड एस्पिरेशन दैट पर्सन फाइंड दिस इज अब इन सम केसेज दे आर पेड एक्स्ट्रा फॉर दिस एडिशनल स्किल स्पेशल स्किल दैर इज इट इज एब्सोल्यूटली एथिकल एंड फाइन टू डू दैट but like you all said no job jobs job slotting what is right is job um, um, map uh, analysis okay job analysis matlab job important job is what we have to focus person ka focus nahi person ko match karana hai that is what is job analysis is. okay i will skip this some good practices jo hai uh, you know that that's what we talk sare roles uh, open hona chahiye um our organizations for uh, हायरिंग का टारगेट्स डाइवर्सिटी और हर लेवल में नॉट ओनली एंट्री लेवल ये सारे चीजें पे फोकस करना इज गुड प्रैक्टिस सिमिलरली जो फिल्टरिंग अप्रोच है काफी सारे प्रोसेस हमारे फिल्टर दस लोगों में से दो लोगों को को इंटरव्यू के लिए आगे बढ़ाता है ना कि वो जॉब रिक्वायरमेंट है बट जस्ट फिल्टर करने के लिए क्योंकि मैं दस लोगों को इंटरव्यू कर नहीं सकता हूँ दो ही को कर सकता हूँ तो उस तरह के अप्रोचेस उनको सब नीड टू बी रिविजिटेड um by the organization these are good practices to revisit it sare abhi wo tests and gd and teen char layer ke uh, organizations are um, uh, revisiting those uh, kind of um, practices we'll talk about this all of this little bit in detail tomorrow because we have a skill um, uh, uh, session um, when we talk about it i will talk more about this particular uh, topic okay because we have a skill and vocational education center now next part is um, एंगेजमेंट विच इज कल्चर किस तरह से कल्चर चेंज होगा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का क्लाइमेट सर्वेस डिस्कलोजर प्रमोट करना है क्विक एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पर एक एक राजीव व्हील चेयर यूजर है रोहन राजीव को रोहन कहता है रिक्रूटर कंपनी का आई नोटिस यू आर इन व्हील चेयर आई वंडर हाउ यू विल बी एबल टू डू दिस जॉब विच विल रिक्वायर ट्रेवल ये सही है नहीं है रोहन का क्वेश्चन राजीव के लिए क्या आई वंडर हाउ विल यू बी एबल टू डू दिस जॉब आई नोटिस यू आर अलचर दिस जॉब में ट्रैवल की जरूरत है इज आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन इज दिस फाइन और नॉट नो अब आई क्यों फाइन बिकॉज यू आर लिमिटिंग समवन यू आर गिविंग सम लिमिटेशन बिकॉज ट्रेवलिंग फॉर अ व्हील चेयर यूजर is a uh, means not a, dif- a difficult thing he can also yeah, be yeah don't assume correct absolutely yeah. so ye assume nahi karna chahiye ki wheelchair user travel nahi kar sakta hai um, you wo assume mat kijiyega ha ye wo jaise shubham ne kaha hai ki jab ye banda job ke liye aaya hai to ye sab pad ke hi aaya hai ki job mein travel hai to mai of course you can ask this job requires to clarify further sometimes you may ask this job requires intent um, Two three hours, two to three days of travel. It's quite intensive. I hope you're fine with it. And this banda ne bola, yeah, good, I'm fine. Take it at face value. Usko question mat kijiye. Isme kya hai na? Ye language jo use karte hai na. I wonder how will you be able to do? Usse usse ki aapka bias dikh raha hai. Us bias se hi interviewer yahan pe Rajiv ko lagega ki ye interview gaya. Ye bande aise interviews attend karte hain. Har jagah is tarah ke shanka wali statement unke dusre ke dusre se aata hai. इंटेंशनली और अन इंटेंशनली उसी से इंटरव्यू खत्म हो जाता है सो दैट वाई एम सेंग दिस इज वेर द कल्चर चेंज इज रिक्वायर्ड इवन नॉट ओनली अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस दिस इज जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल टू से वेर कल्चर चेंज इज रिक्वायर्ड ऑल्सो वॉट काइंड ऑफ लैंग्वेज टू यूज अनदर अनदर एग्जाम्पल हियर कैथरीन एंड कमला टू कोलीग्स वर्क कोलीग्स दे गेट टू नो दैट दे आर कैथरीन 
um, is the blind person and Kamala is a colleague um, there. And Kamala gets to know that Kathleen comes and goes to office uh, every day and says, you, wow, Kathleen, amazing to know. You live and travel all by yourself. You're really inspiring. Is it right or not? Is it positive? Is it good intention? Is it good intention? Um, Kamala, is it fine? No, sir. Well, well, same, you know, don't again, don't assume you are trivializing what, correct? Abai? You're trivializing yes, what um, Catherine can achieve. Catherine can yes, achieve. Sir. Uh, so, uh, inspiring and positive words may sound, you may, intention is great, but still, um, you know, it is, can, it is, can be offensive for, uh, for this person here because um, coming and going, some look at the routine comments, but can inspire, it's Q Muja inspired, bold ring, my, or be both kuch ke sakte ho. I think all of this you would have covered a lot in your other parts of the work. So I think I will quickly run through aapko person first language. So you would be pretty much um, uh, um, aware of the person first language. In, and just some of the ways in which we um, the um, equal opportunity and the culture change can be created are through, you know, of course, webinars, uh, speaker sessions, trainings, trainings which were which are conducted by persons with disabilities themselves, uh, role plays, historic scenarios, videos, have people discuss experiential kiosks. Um, we had Amit talk about experiential learning uh, um, and you know sign language sessions. All of these are various ways in which we create uh, equal opportunity. I think I'm at the edge of the hour. So quickly summarizing kya kya kar sakte hai from equal opportunity, enable me, enable means apne, uh, uh, equal opportunity uh, in, uh, progress karne ke liye infrastructure, reasonable accommodation, protocol, all of that should be perfectly aligned. Employ me having exclusive recruitment drives, um, having uh, job fairs, selection process, revisiting the selection process, is critical culture change pr promoting more awareness uh, among and doing trainings for recruiters executing campaigns all of that critical from a, from again from an equal opportunity practice finally yes sab karne ke baad bhi i talked about affirmative action because you know the starting points are different we talked school may same saman avasar nahi hai deaf person does not get the same opportunity to an exposure to learn english in schools like a hearing person so um, if I hire a recruiter deaf person and give an, launch an executive education campaign where through a sign language tutor they're taught English, it is an affirmative action that is empowering. All of them together uh, uh, constitute what we see as equal opportunity. Finally, I'll summarize with some key messages on equal opportunity. Um, disability is not, not a medical condition. Actually, impairment is a medical condition. Disability is a consequence of societal barriers and most important biggest barrier is the attitudinal barrier, Samara Soch. Hmm? Communication, interaction is possible. Be respectful, use, learn and practice respectful language. Um, we, we should recognize that we all human race are biased. Interact, ask the person the question. Don't assume anything. Don't assume at all. Assumption is the shatru hai of inclusion. As a, so, and don't make decisions on anyone's behalf. Please prepare, be prepared to make gaps in education marks, testing method. No favor. These are all affirmative policies. It's a come karke. We are not saying that like, uh, um, we are uh, uh, reducing the bar. We are only because people did not have equal opportunity. Um, you know, 60% nahi aa sakta 10th mein because of my, I am a person who is, has cerebral palsy. So I didn't, my scribe did not know the subject. So 60% nahi aaya. Does not know that I don't have the subject matter knowledge. You know? So having that cut off as marks, need to question them. Need to be waving them on, on a case-to-case -case basis. Everyone needs equal opportunity and decide, decision entirely based on ability factor and really need to provide for equal Accommodation. So I'll use this last graphic to describe, um, to conclude this session. We have a group of children entering a school, which is, um, which is covered with ice. One child is on wheelchair. The rest, lest many other children are, um, are non-wheelchair users, non-disabled. And the, the, first, the child on a wheelchair says, uh, the attendant, can you shovel the ramp, please? And the, everybody else says, 
um, the, the, the attendant says, all the other children are waiting. First, let me shovel the stairs and then I'll shovel the ramp. The child on the wheelchair says, if you shovel the ramp, we all can get it. So basically equal opportunity, if you create equal opportunity means you clear, you create a path for a person with a disability or a child with disability or youth with disability, you clear the path for everyone. It is, that is simply inclusion, better HR practice and better uh, inclusive society. With that, I close the session and, uh, and hand it back to Divya. Devanshi and big thanks to Arun and uh, Preeti for, uh, for bearing with me and interpreting with such, so much of uh, enthusiasm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for this brilliant session, sir. So on the behalf of the Center for Disability Research and Training, CDRT Kirori Mal College, I take the opportunity to thank Mr. Raj Sekharan for this illuminating session and our interpreters Arun and Preeti for interpreting the session. I also thank the participants for uh, actively taking part in all the discussions. So we again meet tomorrow at 4.30. So hope, you see, hope to see you all there. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Raja, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Akshay. And I'm really please sorry I couldn't be there for the session. Have, please let relate to me, Akshay. Yes, yes, sir. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you sir.